In today's tutorial, I will be teaching you the basics of editing using iMovie. Um, I will be covering how to import video, how to trim video, how to rotate video, and finally, how to share and export. So let's begin first by opening iMovie. Alright, so we have iMovie open right now. I'm going to get begin by explaining these um, fields. Up here is the project library. Right here is a display window. And down here is the event library. I prefer to have my um, event library up here and my project la library down here. So I'm going to go ahead and swap them to begin. The um, event library is where all of your original imported clips are going to appear. And the project library down here is where all of your edited clips for your video will be stored. All right, the first thing we want to do is import files into iMovie. To do this, I'm going to go to File, Import, Movies. Now, I filmed two different clips. One is with my Contour HD camera, and then the other one is with my GoPro camera. So, first I want to navigate to where those files are. My contour file that I'm going to use is in this folder here. I think I'm going to use number 24. Yes, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to go ahead and hit import. Once you do that, you'll notice a little window pops up that says optimizing video. This is basically converting it to a format that's nice for iMovie to edit with. So that was my first clip I have imported. Good. Now I'm going to go to file, import again. To movies and I'm gonna get my second clip which I put over here footage and I'll go ahead and import that one as well this one's gonna take a little bit more time because um, it's a different type of file format so I'm gonna get back to you guys in a moment while it imports all right great so both these files are successfully imported as you can see in this new event window um, just wanted to give you guys one further reminder. Um, any clips that you import into um, iMovie should be imported from a separate drive on your computer and not your camera. If you are importing directly from your camera via your USB port, as soon as you unplug your camera from the USB port, the files will be lost because they were linked onto your camera. Make sure you just get in the habit of copying all your files off your camera onto your computer before you choose to um, import them into iMovie. Now that our video files have successfully been imported into iMovie, we can go forth and start to trim them. So to trim them you, in iMovie, you simply press onto a video file and drag the clip as much as you would like to save. Then you drag it from your event list into the project library below. Once you do that, the video clips that you just selected from that portion will appear in a bunch of thumbnails below. Now you can preview them very easily by either dragging your um, cursor over the files in the new project window or selecting anywhere and pressing spacebar on your keyboard. So um, that's how you can trim video files. If you want to trim them even further, now that they are in your project uh, file, you can go forth and select portions. So here, let me deselect right here. If I click and drag a portion that I do not want for my video, once a yellow bar or a yellow box is around it, I can press delete on my keyboard. You'll notice a little gap here. That gap is that deleted portion. But when I play it, it's not going to lag or there's, no, there's not going to be any space in between that uh, bar. It just jumps right from clip to clip. You know, you can go further and remove parts of the video file that you don't want simply by dragging and deleting. And that is how you trim video files in iMovie. 
Alright, so the next thing I'm going to teach you for this iMovie tutorial is how to rotate footage. Let me start by uh, just deleting all the stuff from the last part I taught you from here. I'm just clicking it once and deleting it. Good, we have a clear project library. So this clip here, as you can see, is at the wrong angle the whole time. Now I want to eliminate that. I want to rotate the footage so that I can really, you know, you don't have to turn your head to look at it. To do this, I'm going to press once on the clip and I'm going to, uh, oops, sorry, let me just click out of that. I'm going to drag this into the project library. Once I do this, I can click on it again and hit this little crop icon. Once I do that, you're going to see this light green outline appear around my video. And a list of options will appear near the tops. To rotate it either direction, I'm going to press these um, rotate, uh, ro rotating buttons. If I press it once, it turns it 90 degrees clockwise. And I'm just pressing it a couple of times just to show you the effect. You can go either direction. Once you have a, uh, you know, the right angle that you want, you can then drag this green selection tool to keep a certain part of the frame that you want. And that's a really nice feature. Also, if you had too much in the frame, you can also uh, click and drag at the corners to just get very specific portions of the video into it. So once I have a portion that I like, I'm going to go ahead and hit Done. And you will see that that portion of the video is now rotated and cropped out. Um, so now if I preview it, you get all the shots in there. So now that I have my uh, file edited the way I would like it, you know, imported my clips, trimmed everything the way I wanted, rotated if I need to, it is time to export my video. To do this, I'm going to go up to Share and then go to Export Movie. Once I do this, a little window is going to appear um, where you can give it a name. So I'm just going to call this a, uh, I don't know, like, test test footage or whatever just gonna leave it as test and um, you can choose where you would like to save it so I'm just gonna make sure it's in the right spot you can break it down make it more specific so I want it in a very specific folder there we go and um, let's see let's go back up to this uh, and also you'll notice all of these different options right here so these are the different sizes you can export your video as if you have it as a tiny it's gonna be good for iPhones and then mobile me mobiles it's gonna be good for iPhones computers mobile me's and YouTube and medium large etc so for this one I'm just gonna export it as a medium size file because it's good for a lot of different things and I can really use it for YouTube which is what I really want to use it for and um, just double check it's in the right spot good it is now I'm gonna go ahead and hit export and it will you know it'll give you a little status update may take a few seconds depending on the length and quality of your video and once it's done you can go forth and uh, let me just hide this real quick check to see if your file is complete by going and navigating to where you had placed it there's my test m4v preview it right here by just playing it on the thing and you'll see your file you just made right there anyway that's how you can uh, those are the basics of editing with iMovie I hope you enjoy this tutorial and until next time Good luck.